There's so much chaos and uncertainty in the world that it really feels like storm clouds are gathering. And Rick Owens isn't partial to outside influence, but it's hard not to see the battle-scarred heroism of his latest collection as some kind of reaction. I kind of assume that I'm absorbing something, but I'm trying to think of things that are more eternal, usually. I'm thinking of things that apply to every single person on the planet for like a hundred years. I'm fully aware, though, that to be relevant, you have to respond to something that's in the air, and I assume that I am, although I can't quite put my finger on how. He's got such a precise point of view, and he really does communicate with his customer in a really direct and uncompromising way, and they get what he's on, and he gets what they're on. I think it comes down to focus, and I think clarity of vision appealing to a really specific niche, a loyal niche, it's like a tribe. And every season he finds something else for that tribe to buy into. I love kind of the, the ties and the origami that was new and that felt really fresh and special. I saw a perfect black maternity dress that was just sick. Such a dramatic maternity dress. I love that. Rock and roll. I love the jackets and the coat with the little cords, the tone on tone, and I also love the Japanese knots, and I love that they actually held the little pieces of fabric together. I've always been so attracted to the Japanese element of Art Nouveau. It's almost like Japanese basket weaving is what I'm thinking of. Something kind of so serene, but at the same time I'm doing it in kind of this barbaric, extreme way. He was insistent that this was quite a tough, hard show, and yet there was a lyricism in this that I haven't seen in his work. That whole kind of layering thing, and I loved all the kimono treatments. On the runway as a vision, it was absolutely beautiful, but he manages to take that very uncompromising vision and turn it into something that's really commercial. Now that is a real trick that defines the sheep from the goats in this market.